anyone is capable of doing anything on every any given day, and you know, to have a goal is is part of life and it's a necessity for anyone. And uh, I think I've been given a platform, you know, with this wheelchair basketball and us, with us doing it in London. And you know, I think it would be a waste not to go out and you know use it to get across some things that are not just important for me, but I think you know there's some things that can uh, come across to some people that would benefit them in the long run. It, it leaves you in a dark and deep place after spending a couple of months in the hospital and to have that, you know, great friend who comes and drags you out to, you know, this, this sport that's given me so much, uh, you know, I can't put words to how lucky and, you know, special I feel to have been thrust into that position. Uh, it was great, you know, you got to have a, a lot of uh, experience, experiencing what like being a paraplegic would be like playing sports. It also gives kind of a, a perspective that, you know, you're not going to have to just sit at home and do nothing. You've got, you know, stuff to do, even with a uh, disability. I used to play basketball regularly, and it was tough as it is running back and forth. And I can see it takes a lot of arm strength to keep moving those wheels and stopping and constantly moving backwards and forwards. And it takes a lot more communication than regular basketball does. Crazy. Like, you think, like for me being a wheelchair, you think, oh, you, I can figure that this easy. But no, you, you gotta take some practice at it. I think they don't understand a little, like a lot more with how I adapt to like everyday life, and even in those sports. And like who would ever thought? You know, years ago, that, oh wow, you know, like sport would save. Work for me.